In this demonstration, we'll go over the invoice processing capabilities of SciGen SciCapture. So the first, uh, the first demo we'll go through is uh, an example of point-and-click indexing, where we can actually accomplish uh, line item processing through the product. So I can go ahead and uh, either scan from a copier or scan from a Direct Connect scanner, pick up my batch of invoices, and the product will go ahead and import the invoices, <clears throat> do the splitting for me from an invoice perspective. And um, when I'm done with importing or capturing via scanner, I can move on to the index module. So now what's going on behind the scenes here is the product is actually pre-processing the invoices, um, searching for specific terms and patterns, as well as uh, converting to clickable text all the information on the invoice. So as you see, it takes a minute. It's going through processing, looking for these expressions. And when it's complete, it's going to give me the opportunity to go through and uh, point and click to process these invoices um, from start to finish. So you'll notice there's a couple terms that are highlighted. So what the technology does, it goes through and looks for anything that looks like an invoice number pattern. So in this example, I'll hover over my invoice number. You can see that the uh, conversion engine picked up a bunch of strange characters in that invoice number. Note that these are fairly low quality scans. Um, but what I want to show you is when I click on the invoice number, between the time I click and the time it populates the field, I actually strip out all the erroneous characters. So it gives me a nice clean invoice number population. Now for invoice date, you can see the same functionality works. Click on my date, populates my field, and then it gives me the opportunity to click on a fax number. And, and what we're going to do with the fax number is actually run a database lookup and bring back the, uh, the vendor name. Okay, so it gives me a nice, simple, standardized way to always populate vendor. Now I'm going to get into my line item processing. So what you're going to see here is I can actually go through, click on my items. So I clicked on my, uh, my item number, my quantity. I'll click on my unit price and my extended price. And then I can click my little add record functionality to go to my next line item. Okay, and I can tab through my headers again, come in click on my item, my quantity, and just go through and, uh, and process my invoices in this manner until I finish out and I'm ready to go on to the next invoice. So what's happening with this information as it's being populated, I have the ability at the end of the process to go and export this to a number of widely accepted formats uh, like CSV, database output, so I can really connect it into my accounts payable system uh, but I can also send the images and metadata to another backend system for search and retrieval. So let's take, for example, you're using SharePoint or FileBound or uh, OpenText Alchemy. You can send the images and maybe just the um, invoice date, the vendor, um, to that repository. So you can search <clears throat> and bring up the invoices at a later time. And you can output the line item information um, into your accounts payable system. So we give you some real flexibility to go through, process these documents from start to finish and, uh, and have your data available. And you can see when I go to my next invoice, I'm going to go through the same exact process. Go through, um, find my information, and then I can go through and process my line items again. Okay. So this is an example of an interactive process that will let me do, uh, do line item detail. Let's go ahead and exit and go into an automated example. So now let's go ahead and use the same set of invoices, but I'm going to pick a different document template or workflow template. And in this example, we're going to come in here and um, I'm going to go ahead and pick my full auto invoice processing example. And we're going to bring up the same exact batch of documents. We'll go ahead and import these. And um, you're going to see something a little bit different happen. So now we're actually using the expression matching capabilities of SciCapture to parse the OCR text 
automatically find the invoice number, the invoice date, the total, uh, the vendor, the fax number, all that different information and auto process it. Okay. So now the first screen that I'm going to be presented with is our quality assurance screen. And what the quality assurance screen does, it gives me a nice pretty spreadsheet view of the results of the automated process. Okay. Be done here in just a second. And uh, you'll see that it pops in. And there you go. Okay. So the vendors aren't yet populated. I can either run the DB lookups automatically during the index processing or I can run them um, on all items right here in the interface. And you can see it brings back all my different vendors based on uh, fax number, phone number, or some other criteria that we can pluck off the page. And you can see here that um, it was fairly successful and you know we'll preach anywhere from uh, 65, 75 percent that we can pluck off the info and I'll uh, I'll tell you again that these are 200 DPI images so they're, they're not the highest quality images I can get so we did a, a, a very good job on populating the information and what I can do is come into these individual fields I can tab through okay so if I have changes to make I can do that I can check my data um, in this example, I, I didn't find a total, so I have the ability to use my magnifier glass, come down here and say, okay, this was uh, 6888, and I'll just keep tabbing through my fields. This is Linux. Okay, so there were a few items I missed here, and uh, I have the ability, like I said, in QA view to come through, correct, or enter any information that couldn't be automatically populated. And we'll go through this one invoice date. Let me double click here is uh, 82708. Okay, and finally the total 88839. So once I'm done and everything looks good, I click my, my close batch button. And now the next few steps are going to be fully automated. We're going to go through, we're going to convert these to fully searchable text, and then we're going to post them into SharePoint 2010. Now, when we post to SharePoint 2010, we give you total control in how you build library, folder, and file naming schemes. And in this particular example, if I come in here and we'll refresh, because it automatically created my invoices library for me, and then the way I set everything up is that I wanted to automatically build a vendor folder. So upon the first scan of an invoice from a vendor, it'll auto create this. And then from then on, it'll just drop the invoices into the folder. Okay, so if I kick, click on uh, Acme Pacific Repairs, there's my invoice, and I chose to name it vendor invoice number. Now I could combine those fields in any way to build folders and subfolders, as well as um, custom file naming screen, screens, uh, I'm sorry, schemes, and then uh, auto populate the, the fields. Okay, so this is just a basic overview, um, just touching on the capabilities of Sci Capture. Note that we do also have a C sharp scripting engine within the product that'll let you do all types of custom validations and, uh, and custom coding as well. So if you have any questions, contact your reseller or you can send an email to sales at sigen.com. Thanks.